finally making progress. And I'm getting chased down. Group volunteers. I have 32 troops. Desert bandits. 12 of them. You know what? 32 people should be enough for 12 desert bandits. I know like Kurgit Lancers and stuff. They're from the previous army and they're like badass. But just... These guys are weak. Charge. And... This is an easy battle. Kill all these filthy horses. Kill all those horses. Come on, one horse too. Oh, I can. Kill them all. That was an easy victory. Even though I killed all the horses on the battlefield, I was able to pick up horses somehow. Okay. Let's take all this stuff so I can sell it somewhere. Because honestly, I'm poor. Look at this. All these 24 troops are ready to be upgraded and hop that fight. So now I'm very strong. I'm unstoppable. Yeah, the thing about that is that I wouldn't be able to attack them unless they chase me down. So they're dumb enough to chase me down. Because they're faster than I am. So let's off all the stuff I picked up off that fight. I get 347 dinars. Not bad. Probably need to buy some food. So let's buy some cabbage and some fruit. Cost 95 dinars, whatever. So this army should be sufficient to raid a village, I would think. 38 troops now. So let's go and try and raid Kalyut. No funny business should happen, I hope. We wouldn't burn the village. Don't stop me. No green people show up. Nobody stop me. I got this. I got this. There we go. Get spice, raw silk, furs, iron, salt. Let's do it. There we go. I'm back in the game. I'm back in the game. I am back. Back in the game. Let's go to Dirk Cuba, sell off all this good stuff I got. So I need to buy something so they can actually pay me everything. So right now I have 3,900 dinars after selling all that stuff. Plus another 1349 on the way. I'll actually buy a better chest piece. Let's actually buy the rusty serenade elite armor. Plus 49 body armor, plus 13 leg armor. That's really good. Because I only have plus 22, plus 6 right now. It's like double for both. But it's really expensive, but who cares? Because even after buying that really good chest piece, I'm still a positive 1200 dinars. Look at me now. Look at that. I'm all geared up. Star rocks can't kill me, I hope. Recruit volunteers. Go around and build my army up to the maximum amount. Look, there's a fight going on. And the other party left. I wonder if y'all's going to catch up to him again. That was weird. They were fighting and they stopped fighting. Now they're fighting again. So I'll join this, trying to get free stuff. It's an obvious victory. And they're all dead. Look at this, rescue prisoners. So I can like rebuild my whole army right now, pretty much. Higher, 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 higher. Higher, 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 higher. And there we go. I'm at 55 out of 56. And now we're at war with purple. See, but purple actually defends their lands, though. Hmm. Green doesn't. Hmm. I'll stack green. Play it safe. Green does not care about their villages. Let's go and loot another green village. This is why I should never quit in anything. You might be shirtless one second, getting hit by rocks and dying, and the next second, you have an army behind you. Never give up. Always keep fighting. Keep pushing forward. Don't let the rocks stop you. So here I am. Tilimsol. Let's loot and pillage it. Here we go. And there we go. The successful 
pillaging. Look at all the spice and oil and furs I get. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take this back to the motherland of Dracuba and sell it off. Sell, sell, sell. Keep some food. Sell off the rest. There we go. Look at that. I have 5,800 dinars after selling all that stuff off. Let's go ahead and buy some crude gauntlets to improve body armor by two. Let's buy the battered winged great helmet to improve my helm by four. I'll actually keep these things because I can put them on a companion actually. So I should keep them. Because the selling price is really low for these two things. It's better on a companion than selling it off. So hold on to those. Here I am in the tavern. Look at that. I found Nazar again. I also found Jeremis again. So I have to leave first. I need to disband two recruits to make room. Go back in the tavern. Pick those two companions back up. Hire blades. There's five of them. So it's actually say I don't need other men right now. Get rid of five recruits. Go back to the tavern. Pick up the hired blades. After all that, I still have 1,300 dinars left. So let's go to Amarad and try and find some more mercenaries or companions. I'm getting chased down by purple. Good thing you stopped chasing me. We probably died to that. Let's actually try and loot purple land. Let's go to Peshmi. This is very, very risky. Let's do it. There's an ally right by the territory border. That's pretty good. Good sign. Let's go ahead and loot and pillage Peshmi. Hopefully no one shows up. It's a big risk. Usually purple tries to stop me. And... Nothing happens. There we go. I actually successfully looted a purple village. Let's take all these goods back to the motherland. There's a purple guy deep in our land. That's weird. Very weird. There's another one too. So let's sell off this stuff. So I just made 3,721 dinars from that village. This tavern still has mercenary horsemen. There's only three of them. So let's go ahead. Get rid of three guys to make room for them. Welcome aboard. This purple guy only has 46 troops. He's running for me. Can't catch up to him. There's a failed head of cattle quest. Who cares? Let's go to Amarad. Look in the tavern. See if I get companions or mercenaries. I have lots of gold. Lots of dinars. Amarad has mercenary crossbowmen. There's six of them. Pick them up. Let's go to Bear Ride. Let's go to their tavern see what they have. Because I still have lots and lots of gold. Still have 3,435. Bear Ride has four watchmen. Might as well just pick them up. So now I'm strong, very strong. Look at this, a battle's going on. Against purple. 171 verse 29. Charge the enemy. Look at my guy now. He's a beast. Won't get killed by rocks anymore. Kill them all. Oh, look at that. Sturdy, Kurgit, Lamellar Vest. That's pretty good. Give that to a companion. See, I'm pretty strong right now. Let's go ahead and go deep in purple territory. Loot another village, because why not? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's 37 troops for purple. I'm going to actually try and fight this guy. Let's chase him down. See, the problem with purple is that they're too fast. He has a sp speed of 6.5. Wait. He actually ran back at me? We'll fight you to the end. 55 versus 37. Let's see what happens. Curses are pretty strong, though. I'm actually going to lose this.
Looks like we're winning, actually. For now. Did that guy actually died? Awkward. Horses always die pretty fast. I almost got knocked out by this dude. He stabbed me in the back. We got a prisoner. Look at all these goodies that I got. I can sell us off somewhere. So I have a lord as prisoner. Probably ask me for him back if I don't lose him. Need to rebuild my army again now. I am leveling up. I am getting stronger. My companions are leveling up. They're getting stronger. Oh crap! I'm getting chased. Oh crap! So I'm gonna pull back, leaving some soldiers behind. There's no way I can win this when they outnumber me. And there we go, I got away. Let's go to Cuba. I saw off my stuff from the one fight. I have a lot of dinars, but I want to actually keep that in case if I get captured, then I can rebuild an army really fast. So I want to keep like a positive amount of at least 5,000 dinars. So if I'm taken prisoner, I can rebuild my army super fast, and then I can also... Buy back gear if I lose anything. So let's go and try and loot Qualiut. Get some more dinars. Because yeah, I don't want a repeat of last time where I got taken prisoner like a hundred times in a row and I couldn't build an army up because I was so poor. So I'm going to try and keep 5,000 dinars at all times to avoid that. Loot and burn this village. Green like never defends their villages. Ever. Only purple tried the once. And there we go. Velvet rustic oil tools. Salt. There we go. I'm very rich now. Very rich. Obviously, Dracuba's running out of money because I'm trading with them so much. Made them go broke. There's mercenary swordsmen in the tavern. Six of them. Make room for those guys. You're hired. So Dracuba went, went broke when I was trying to sell them my stuff. Let's go to Amrod next. These guys have money. Take it all, take it all. So as you can see right now, I have a surplus of 6,878 dinars. So go ahead and end the video right there. My army's built back up. I have a huge surplus of dinars. But right now, it's by a sword of war. It has a weapon reach of 130 compared to my current of 112. So I make it way easier to kill people on the ground. It's quite a big weapon reach. So I can outrange people, kill them on my horse. They won't be able to attack me or anything. And with that, I still have a surplus of 6,000 dinars. So on the video right there. Boom, done.